Hi, I'm Kevin Raber, and uh, thanks for coming by the Luminous Landscape. Today I want to talk about a new camera bag. And before I go too far into this camera bag, I do have to confess that uh, I am a camera bag junkie, if you haven't figured that out from my past articles. I have a lot of camera bags. Uh, someday I will do an article on every camera bag I have, and I'll stack them all in the driveway, and you'll see how many there are. It's a little ridiculous, and for those of you that share my addiction issue, you'll know what I'm talking about. However, once in a while I come across a bag that I really like. And many, many years ago, back in the 70s or early 80s, I lived in Philadelphia, and the Philadelphia Inquirer had a photographer with the last name of Domke. And he created a canvas bag that allowed us to kind of throw cameras in a little over-the-shoulder bag and run with it. And that was before uh, there were a lot of different camera bags. Most camera bags back then were leather. And so I had one of the original Domke bags, and it's lived with me uh, for quite some time. In the last few years, Tiffin uh, bought the rights to make the Domke bags, and Tiffin now manufactures the Domke bags, and there's a whole new expanded line of Domke type bags. I'm going to be talking about the Chronicle. It's the Chronicle rugged wear, and I put it in the military uh, colors. I kind of just like that rather than the tan or the black. And I want to kind of share with you why I like this bag so much and uh, tell you how I would use it on an everyday basis. First off, it's a shoulder bag. But inside this bag, I've got five lenses in the camera body, a bottle of water, an iPad, filters, and just about everything else you can think of. It's a very well thought out bag. It's kind of a wax type canvas. It loosens up with time. However, when you get it, it's going to be rather stiff. Uh, but it wears well, and once you, uh, the more you use it, uh, the, the better it gets. It's got a shoulder strap, which is quite nice. It slings right over my shoulder and allows me to you know, work when, and carry all this stuff nicely as a shoulder bag. This is not like a, a bag you'd want to drag around. It doesn't have wheels or uh, whatnot. But there's many times I've traveled on the airplane with my backpack and uh, this bag, and it fits nicely into the overhead. One of the beauties I like about this bag, first off, is it has just a regular handle you can pull up at any time you want. It also has an access from the top. I can unzip the top, or in this case, re-zip it, and just reach in and at any time uh, have access to any of my lenses or cameras that are in here. And just easily can pull out a lens and switch a lens and then drop it back in without having to undo the whole bag. But let's take a look at the, uh, the whole bag structure. The bag has uh, snaps or shackles that hold it together. It's very easy to use. You just push on it, undo them, and this is what we begin to look like. We have a lot of Velcro. The Velcro can keep it attached, so if you don't want to use the shackles and you're working fast, say, at a, a sporting event or something, you can just keep it shut, and it's not going to flap open. Open it up, and away you go. As you can see in here, I've got four lenses and a camera. I have a compartment where the iPad can sit. I've got pockets here that are expandable. And on the sides, I also have pockets, which are kind of double pockets, one on the outside, one on the inside. Not to mention that they're expandable. I can unzip this all the way around. And this pocket turns into a huge another pocket. Could be for lenses, batteries, uh, water bottles, whatever you might like. So they're very, very well thought out in regards to the way that works. And the zippers work really, really nice. There's snaps if you want to undo these snaps to expand the front pockets. And there's foam rubber inserts which come in here. Uh, zipper to pocket like I showed you where your iPad can sit. And there's another pocket in the back where credentials, paperwork, whatever it might be. So there's just a lot of nice surprises and uh, bits of storage in here. And it's come out to be a very nice bag. A lot of times, if you want, you can undo the shackles and just work with the bag like this. So this is the Domke Chronicle. It's become one of my go-to bags. Easy to throw in the back of your car, easy to walk through the woods, and easy to carry a full setup of gear with you. So I highly recommend this bag. I'm totally hooked on it and I think you'd find it to be a worthwhile purchase yourself. Thanks. Appreciate you coming by the Luminous Landscape. 
and I'll see you on the Loomless Landscape.